could this be the future of our relationships? The Japanese company behind this robot thinks so. They say Pepper is the first robotic companion that can read emotions and interact with people. If you clap and cheer and pour, I might just show you what else I can do. In London, Pepper is going back to school, where he'll help children learn about programming. The London Design and Engineering University Technology College, or UTC as it's to be known, will open in September. It will be the first school in the UK to have robots in the classroom. While this technology may be innovative, it's also limited. Hello, I would like to guess your age and gender. Please don't be offended if I get this wrong. But it's hoped by teaching kids like these about programming and robotics that in the future, they'll be the ones to develop it further. The technology is out there. What we need is the creativity. So what we're giving them is the chance to use the technology to be creative. <laughs> For many, coming home to Pepper may seem like science fiction. <laughs> but robots already have an established place in our society. The only real question about the future is whether the pupils of today can become the engineers of tomorrow, able to develop and control this ever-advancing robotics industry. Helen Mulroy, BBC London News.